Hi, and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Have you ever been using your SDR to listen to certain frequencies, but then run into problems when interference disrupts your listening pleasure? Now, interference, or QRM you could call it, can be caused by nearby transmissions on close by frequencies, or out of band transmissions, or even harmonics from transmitters. Now, interference is one of those most annoying things to experience when trying to listen to radio transmissions. Sometimes we just can't cure them because they're out of our control. But there is something that we can do. Now, this little board from Nuelec, the ham filter bank, provides separate bandpass filters for five different common ham radio bands. Now, these include two meters, the 1.25 meter band, 70 centimeters, 33 centimeters and the 23 centimeter band. Now powering the ham filter bank can be done via bias T from your SDR. Now, if you're using an SDR like the Nuelec Smarty XDR, that will power the ham filter board without needing any external power. However, some SDRs don't provide a bias T voltage output. So in that case, you can use the onboard USB connector and then just connect a USB cable up to a power source. The power requirements for this board are between 3.3 and 5.5 volts. Now a push switch on the top left of the board will enable or disable a bias T on the input port. This is where you connect your antenna. Now this will allow you to power other devices in the chain, such as a low noise amplifier or other inline devices. Now another control on the board is a rotary switch which allows you to choose which passband is active. There's also two other positions on the switch for selecting off or through. Now through will allow all frequencies through without putting the signal through one of the passband filters. Now, if you're wondering what the electrical characteristics plots look like, i.e. what these passband filters look like on test equipment, then Nulec have released a data sheet for this product and have provided plots for each of the available passbands. Now I'll link below to this document so you can take a look yourself as there's quite a few of them. So let's now do some real life tests. And one of the tests I can do for sure is seeing if I can filter out a very strong FM broadcast station, which is only around a mile from my house. Now here is the station in question on its normal frequency. However, if we take a look at the second harmonic, we can still see and hear a strong signal from this broadcast station. The ham filter bank is actually set to through, so all frequencies are coming through. Now, if I switch it to something like two meters, you'll see that transmission that's on the second harmonic completely disappear. Now here, we're looking at the entire two meter ham band with a few megahertz just above it. The ham filter bank is set to through, so all transmissions are coming through to the SDR. Now in this test, I'm using an Adam Pluto SDR so that I can get a large bandwidth at the same time. Now I live near a fairly large town with radio stations, hospitals, ambulance stations, and lots of commercial comms. So the VHF band is fairly active. As you can see here, I'm getting an awful lots of out of band transmissions affecting my two meter listening pleasure. Now, some of these signals are so strong that it plays havoc with the AGC on the SDR. So now let's flick the rotary dial on the ham filter bank to two meters and see what it does. Well, there you go. Nearly all of those unwanted signals are now filtered out, leaving a fairly clean two meter band to scan through. Now, one question I'm sure you'll be asking yourself is about insertion loss i.e. the amount of signal loss we get from inserting this device between the antenna and the SDR. Now on the specification sheet, it does detail the insertion loss for each of the passbands. So just bear this in mind when it comes to choosing to buy this device. Well, there we go, guys. That's the ham filter bank from Nuelec, a perfect five band pass through filter board that you can use with your SDR. Of course, it will work with normal radios as well, but don't forget you cannot transmit through this. It's for receive only. Anyway, until the next video, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.